Hello everybody, my name is Caretaker, and I'm back from the grave, being you another episode of Alice Madness Returns. I apologize for the weak hiatus, and always said I was going to do a video, a video, I'm way too tired, a video every day, but unfortunately I had some issues come up. The day episode 6 was supposed to go up, I got in a fight with a friend, and then the day after that I was dealing with some stuff. And then for three days, a buddy of mine decided to spend the night. He was only supposed to be there for a day, but he spent a good while, and I couldn't really record anything because of that. Yeah, I just, I can't record with people in the house, especially snoring or we're doing stuff. Couple that with a very strong addiction to rust. Yes, rust. I'm pretty sure everyone's heard about that stuff by now, and yeah. So I apologize, but the hiatus is up. I hope y'all are ready to see more Alice. I'm also very happy to say that I have broken 150 subs. Thank you everyone for subscribing and I hope you've been enjoying the content that I've been putting out so far and I hope to only improve in the future. It's, 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 it's a big milestone for me. And it's just awesome to see that so many people are enjoying my videos and whatnot. Can I? Oh, I didn't think you could actually do that. Probably missed the secret. Not really worried about it. I've done pretty well on the secrets. Missing three snouts, five memories, two bottles. Not bad. A lot better than when I was a kid. Nothing special. Yeah, I, I, I missed making these videos. Not just because it's a fantastic game, but because I legitimately enjoy making videos. It's nice doing I'll be doing Rust videos very soon. Especially since I'm now running my own server, and I want people to see the kind of stuff that they can experience on my server, and what the game is like from my point of view, and let y'all know why I'm so addicted to it, and what's been so much fun about it. I have a huge admin house. Damn proud to say that it is legit. I farmed for hours just to get the point where I'm at right now. It is three stories, I believe. There we go. Three stories, I think. Um, I'm trying to think what else I have. I had built Lavender Town inside of it at one point. But unfortunately, I had to get rid of it because my server got wiped due to some DDoSing issues as well as a few other things such as mod support and everything else. And it turns out when you add a certain mod, it wipes your server. And I did not know that, so I lost a lot of progress. I can rebuild it, but it's not like the Minecraft servers in the game. Wow, I am just... It's not like playing Minecraft where you can just fly around and, you know, bada bing bada boom, your shit's built. No, it, it's not that way. You have to physically go out and farm tons of materials, craft them. Luckily, I have instant craft turned on or it would be so much harder to do. You gotta go outside, you gotta craft, you gotta build it. I mean, technically, I can just spawn in items and that does alleviate some of the problem. But at the same time, if I mess up building something, it's, that's it, it's messed up. I can't fix it. I have to accept that it's broken and that's it. I mean, if it's wood, I can kind of work with it, but even then I, no, I still can't do much unless it's a wall or something like that because at the moment, foundation, wood pillars, ceilings, and I can't remember all of it, but right now those are unbreakable. They, they're indestructible. They cannot be broken, which is both good and bad. It's good because people have been getting really, really creative, and they're making these monstrous forts that are even hacker-proof because the game is plagued since it is an alpha right now. It is kind of plagued with hackers. Luckily, I haven't had to deal with one yet. I've had one on my server, 
but he quickly left. I didn't even need to log on. As soon as they warned him that I was getting on, he jumped ship immediately. Especially considering the fact that his account apparently had two VAC bans already. So he's he's apparently in the in the shit house right now. In the dog house shit house. I don't know why I said that. But he he's basically fucked. Steam has noticed that he has been hacking on multiple servers. He was flying around my server, chasing my friends around, screaming, Oh, I just don't fuck with a hacker. You know, don't bother me. I'll kill you. Which is, is retarded in that game because I, I'm a fucking admin and I can do what you can do aside from flying and speed hacking. And it's not against any rules or anything. And even I find that boring to do. So, I don't see why you would want to do that. Why do you want to hack and be an asshole? Seriously, play the fucking game legitimately. That's the whole point of a survival slash gather game. I don't know other way of describing it from that survival gathering. I mean, I absolutely love the game. I am utterly addicted to it. Sleep's the sleep of the just. Like Homer and Bark. After ten, they're unconscious. Oh, so you can't go over there. Luckily, I'm awesome. Ah, uh, can I get up here? Oh, oh, nope. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a side series of Rust alongside with my regular Let's Plays because I have a friend I met on there. His name is Green Grenades. He apparently used to promote videos like mine and do streams and all sorts of stuff, but he used to be pretty big. And I want to help him out because he's been really cool on my server. His buddy Mike and him have been building some insane shit. Their current goal right now is to build a full metal house, which is not easy, because one, you have to find all the pieces of metal that you'll need, because you don't know anything metal aside from a metal door when you start off, so you have to physically find the metal off of zombies. Airdrop, supply drops. I, told you to see some I don't think you can find any in crates. So Pretty sure you have to get them on zombies. Like you might be able to. I know you can find metal inside of supply drops or airdrops, but I think that's the only way, aside from zombies. And then when you find that, you have to use the research kit one that you can get off zombies, crates, and other, and other areas to learn how to create them and then you can learn how to know it for good. It never changes. If you die, it doesn't go away. If you leave a server, it still stays. So, it's a pretty cool system. I, I really like how they did that. And the game is always changing, and it's always going to be different. So, that there's always something new to see and do. So, the one thing that does slightly... Only thing that does slightly worry me though is I enjoy the game in its current state. Uh, it needs a lot more. It leaves a lot to be desired if you're not into just my. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. If you're not into mindlessly gathering and taking on zombies and building like I am, then you're not really gonna get a lot out of it. But it is starting to get mod support, which introduces private messaging, a starter kit. So as soon as you jump to a server, you're given a little bit of gear and stuff to get you started. So that's kind of cool. But unfortunately, like I said, God damn it, I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. As I said though, I mean, it, it's just been a hell with mods. They're so difficult to install. I know it shouldn't be as difficult as I make it out to be, but I'm just having so much trouble installing them. Even with the one-click install, they just don't work. Really? Did I do that wrong or something? But to, to explain, when you rent a server, when they get support for mods such as Oxide and Rust++, which really do help to enhance the game, they add a lot of things that are essential, such as private messaging and that starter gets nice, it's not important, but it gives you better admin commands. What the fuck was that? But it, it makes the game a lot easier to play and handle. I know some people are going to be, oh, but I like the difficulty. Can I take it? What about that? 
And that, that's cool. I enjoy the difficulty of the game, too. I also enjoy the fact that you might get your shit jacked at any moment. But that's also a reason why I got my own server. Ow. But you feel my friends are kind of making fun of me because I, they were like, Oh, yeah, this was the guy who got banded and decided to make his own server because his shit got stolen. That's actually not the whole reason. It's partially the reason because, as I said, getting my shit stolen was a big thing. It sucks. I was really kind of down about it. More than I should be. I think it's more just me being moody, but it really bothered me. Oh, God, I hate it. this. Sorry, I gotta focus on... I gotta focus on this one. Speaking of which, do y'all remember when I was talking about that game and really, really fucked up fairy tales? Well, I was cruising around on Steam the other day and I realized that they had actually released it. It was called Grim. And it's what's well, not called Grim, it's American McGee's Grim. Ooh, this lag makes it so difficult to play. I can't sneak in here. Ow, I took that one right to the face. Quick. Awesome. That was a really good hit. They're pretty much immune to the pepper grinder. See, we can't get a few good shots in. I'm honestly surprised I can play right now. I'm having a lot of trouble. I had my freaking computer blue screen hitting five times in a row on me. It has something to do with alts having from Rust, but once I went into my AMD settings for some reason, it fixed itself. All I had to do was end, uh, all I had to do was exit out of the Catalyst Control Center and poof, all tabbing worked fine. So I'm not quite sure what happened there or why that did that. Clearly, I need to get in there, but how? Maybe the big red glowing sign next to me. That would be the probable choice. I apologize. I'm very tired. Despite getting a lot of sleep, especially on my day off, I've just been so drained. I, I, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm not sure what's really going on right now. I'm just, I'm just been exhausted. I mean, I get plenty of sleep too. I just, I'm not rested. Is that every bottle? No shit. 18 of 18. Awesome. I have no idea what bottles do. I think they're specific memories and other items you can find, but I'm not worried about it. Just excited I found that because I think it's the first time. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. Anyway, 
So, this week has been a very crazy one. The last couple of weeks have been absolutely crazy. I should not have flicked the stick that way. Dash through there. Hmm. Never recognized how awesome that sound was. Oh, but as I was saying, crazy ass week. I apologize for late uploads because I know I promised an upload a day. So this one might be a little bit longer than others. I feel like there's supposed to be a mushroom there. I mean, that could be hidden. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna explore mode right now. But hopefully everything is calmed down and ready to go, so I'll be back to my regularly scheduled program of an episode a day. And I might even do two episodes a day, where I upload just me fuck around on Rust. Although, without that, I'm not really sure how I would handle it. Because I could technically upload me just running around the server and doing stuff, or I could plan out what I want to record, just click down the home key and record what I think is going to be a cool thing. But I'm not really sure. So we'll have to see. I'm sure I could find something interesting to watch and to do. Uh, but I don't think anyone is really going to get much out of me just running around and grabbing wood and stuff like that. I mean, I could do it. I want to do a start off video to show people how to get started and how to get a good start going when you first get into Rust. I also want to do building your first shelter, building a house, tips, tricks, leading your arrows, what works best. So I think I might do that when I get a chance and show off people in my house and everything I have built. So I'm pretty proud of it actually. I've, I've built it huge. I've got three walls of large spikes and I've got foundation with pillars in the middle and just all sorts of stuff everywhere. Well, I kind of say I love the way the Mad Hatter looks in this game. The straight jacket is just an amazing look for him. And the cog and machinery pieces, it, it's just such an awesome way of I finished my work and you're complete, Tata. Now, what about this damnable train? I feel like a new man, or whatever I am. I feel like an unsprung spring, like an uncorroded gear, like an untarnished bit of metal that sticks in your eye. Answer me, Hatter. I'm suffering. And changes here are a cause. Or they're a reflection. Or the effect. What's going on? What are the new rules? The law is just, just a whisper away, away home to wonder. Wonder who, who knows how to measure rules with a ruler. Cruel rules. <laughs> Idiot. I should have left you in bits. Come, the least you can do is help me discover what's going on. God damn, Mad Hatter got moves. See, I noticed his legs kind of, he, his leg, his first leg did that tuck thing. I want to say it's, I want to say it's from animes, but now someone's going to be like, oh, I saw anime, shut up. You're, you're being an idiot. But it, that's what it reminds me of. That was the first time I ever saw that from anything it was in... I want to say Naruto or something like that, but never seen ninjas or people in fights, they always tuck the leg and they, they get prepped for that drop. That's just what it reminds me of. I know someone's going to probably say, no, blah, you're being an idiot. But I mean, that, that's just what it reminds me of. But it's clear that that dude is into some hardcore parkour, okay? There's no denying that. Okay, 
Those are super small, so. Pretty sure I cannot upgrade my weapons. I could do the pepper grinder, but upgrading it is just, it's just not worth it. You want to get your vocal blade up to max as soon as possible because it is your best weapon. Good feeling we got a big fight about to come up there. Yep. Corruption everywhere and they're loading me up. Ow! Fuck, never mind. I was hoping there's something down here, but I don't know. Hmm. You know what, I was going to stop the video here, but it's... I think I'm going to do a little bit longer video since I've... I've been neglecting my uploads and whatnot. I would normally do a 20 or 30... What? Oh, well, that's awesome. It is possible. That's fantastic, Hatter. Now, I've got an insanely powerful Vorpal Blade. I'm just going to tear through these things instead of wasting my time. Alright, game. Yeah, now I'll waste some time. Do your charge. Come on. Ow. I timed that one horribly. That was my own fault. The entire time I'm playing this, I just want to start quoting Major Pain. So in other news, speaking of very, very bad shit that has happened this week, my friend's house burned down. So, yeah, that was interesting. Also, why I'm doing this video is so late. I randomly just get a text, and I'm sitting there telling myself, like, who the fuck is texting me this late? Like, what, what the hell is this? And yeah, it's a friend of mine texting for a new number, so that was even more confusing. Guys, I didn't know who the fuck she was. Yeah, it tells me her house burned down. She sent me pictures, and her, her house has been burnt to the ground. That's a very unfortunate thing. If you would like to help, I have her address on my Facebook page. The link is down below. Is that everything? No shit. I'm missing one snout and one memory. So if I find the last snout, I find the last memory. Huh. I'm really hoping I can do that. I'm not looking to do a 100% run, but if I can, then hell, I'd, I'd be extremely ecstatic because usually I miss one thing and that's probably going to be it. Anyway, as I was saying, if you want, check my Facebook page. It was the latest post I just posted. I will probably pin her address. She's not looking for anything important right now. She's not worried about money or anything like that. She just wants some clothing. I mean, you can send her money if you want, 
but it's an address. It's not really a PayPal or anything. She doesn't have a computer or anything to get to the money or to help with that. See if you can send her maybe some food or you can send her some clothing. Just anything to help them get by. That'd be great. I just put some Christmas money in the bank, so I'm probably going to try to do my best to send them some extra clothing I have and buy them some food if possible. So we're gonna, we'll are we see what's going on. I'll try to set something up and help them out. So it would be very much appreciated for both me and them if you could help them out just a little bit. Okay. I came up here and I feel like I've missed something. Yep. But where? There it is. I knew there was one of those things here. So, yeah. On top of all that. So, well, let's a recap. I've been fighting with a friend of mine because she is in an abusive relationship. I'm not getting into that because he's talking about it. It ticks me off. The friend's house burns to the ground. I'm getting no rest, which, of course, always sucks. What else is going on? Um, I can't even think shit if I wanted to right now. But hey, at least the, the purging went well on my page. I don't know if anybody knows what that is. The purging is basically when I find out one of my fans really dislikes something, I will spam post the shit out of it. I mean, unless they have a legitimate reason, such as if someone says, oh my god, I don't like gore, fuck gore, then I'm not gonna spam that. But I had a few fans who were complaining about Homestuck and some other stuff. Because they said I wanted to pose from Homestuck because I legitimately like the art for Homestuck. And I think some of the characters are pretty well drawn. I like the styles that people have made for them. And it's just, it's fantastic. You hold the fuck on. You doing your little waving cane smacking bullshit. I see you. I'm gonna stab you in the face with this fucking blade. You don't stop. Prick. I take back everything I said. Should have mad. I already beat my ass given the opportunity. I'm now almost 100% sure why I missed the snap. I'm pretty sure this is the end. God damn. They were not kidding when they said an infernal train. We found the source of the shaking, but are those two quaking? What are they up to? You'll never stop us, silly Hatter and Alice. It's left. You're too the late. Insolent, the insolence, the arrogance, the execrable table manners. They are destroyers of Wonderland. Defilers, denuders, derangers, delightful. Is Did they actually create that infernal train to destroy Wonderland? What does that matter? They deserve to die. Ah, put me down this instant. I ought to free. Enough talk. Battle time, missy. Thank Rapture Jesus. I finally get to kill these little shits. There's a fucking dormouse. Abandon false hope. Forget the past. The damage is done. <laughs> Let the madness begin. Resume the folly. Oh shit. You promised. Where is that train going? What's its purpose? Tell me. Now. There's no time for whatever it is you want to talk about. It's time for tea. Talk trains with Turkey. He ran the looking glass line. <clears throat> Come on, you lot. We can still be friends. I've got a mind our dealing. Drink. Drink. <laughs> My memories are shattered. I'm trying to collect the pieces, and I now believe the train impedes me. You must help me. You promised! Ask the one who helped them what helped themselves. Whoever that is. 
Very pity. He deserved to die. And I'm about to drown in tea in ignorance. That sucks. I actually like the Mad Hatter. Oh well, he, he went down with the ship, as they say. Completely lost my train of thought, or what I was talking about before. I am kind of ticked off that I missed one fucking snout, though. Caught me very own river nymph. Saints be praised that he works in mysterious ways. Got plans for her. Take her over to the oh, mangled oh, mermaid. Oh, Rent a bed. Hard to woo a girl, Mr. Brawl. What do you think you're doing? What comes natural, like? Not natural to me. Get away. Hmm. We're back in London. And there's the Cheshire Cat. Oh, looks like... Yep, I unfortunately missed... Shit. Oh well. That was a good shot. I might go back and find out where they are later. As I said, I'm not really looking for a 100% run. I'm rather enjoying this rainstorm, especially now of all times. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here since we've completed Chapter 1. I hope you all have been enjoying this Let's Play. Thank you all for sticking around and watching. And thank you for 150 subs. I hope you all are excited for the rest of Let's Play. If you liked the video, make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and upcoming soon will be a little bit longer episodes because of my hiatus. I will also be uploading some rest videos as well as a few other things. We're going to see what's going on. But as always, my name is Caretaker. I'm my head of the grave. Welcome to town, everyone.